Hello everybody, I am Mold at last, and this is Windbound once again. In the last episode, we did more of that sailing, I complained more about the wind, we fought a pond whomper and found one of them keys, and there's also another stolen gong that we need to go finding. And we happened across this island on our way to one of the possible gong locations. So, we did get a key out of it. It weren't all for naught. And we did get to murder that pond whomper. We got, a sh got part of his shell. We can make nice armor out of it with for my boat. It's a nice heavily protected boat is gonna be a good thing to have now let me just see here where would I go to make that wood chest mmm no not I don't want no figurehead spikes where's the yeah, the scale armor I need another grass rope always with the needing of the grass rope but it's it's fine I'll just first I'm gonna light this fire cuz I don't know if I'm gonna be using up too much of my grass I know you need grass to go light and fire, and you also need grass to make a grass rope, and then you go sticking meat on the fire, cause mm, good, good meaty meat. We all need some of that good ass meat if we're gonna make it through to the not dying part of living. There we go. I've armored up that wooden hull. And... Let's just go get us that gong, assuming it's on this island closer to us. And am I stuck? I might be stuck. Stuck on the land. I do have a habit of beaching my boat whenever I go coming out of the sea like that. Come on, push. Push. Push like the wind. Except push better than that because the wind always pushes us in the wrong damn direction. There we go. Now we're free. That'll get us where we just need to be. And take us away. Except I'd take us where we want to be instead of wherever the hell it is you feel like going, wind. And I think for once in our fucking lives, the wind is actually cooperating. The wind be blowing this way in the exact direction that we need to go! Finally! Finally! Nature gets its head out of its ass and works with me here! Damn, that thing got some good accuracy jumping out of the waves like that. It knew exactly where it wanted to land, and by God, it landed there. Now, okay, now I can see things have gotten less foggy. I see a nice little archway over there. That might have some new shards in it. Shards be good, after all. And, yep, just don't go slamming us into the damn rocks. While sea shards are good, my boat being reduced to shards is not. And this island is a potential gong location, so let's just nestle in right here. I really like the look of these trees here, that the blue leaves they got going on. That's a super nice look. Anyway, jerk it up. Are there any naturally occurring trees in the world that actually have blue leaves like this? I'd love to see something like that, but I do not know whether or not they truly exist. It's all well and cool doing it in a game, but it is very pretty too, but I, is, does it real? Does it real? Give me them shards. I really need to know if these blue trees does is real, because if they do... I want to fucking see one, at least some point in my life, sometime before I die horribly from having my heart ripped out by a goddamn vampire, because those two might also exist. Where's that damn 
thing. I fucking parked my boat, like, right on top of it. That's where it is. It's always right where I leave my boat, isn't it? Is it it? They have a habit of just burying treasure knowing exactly where I'm gonna leave my damn boat. And there it is, diggy, diggy, diggy dog. Give me what you got, son. That is the gong. So now we can go get that second key, which was the first one that we happened upon. That's the wrong button. And we could also check out that other island that's marked with the X. A potential gong location would definitely have something in it. Get up on out there, boat. We don't need to be on the beach no more. We ain't no beachy boys. We're sailors. And sailors need to be not be stuck to the beach forever. And... Yeah, the wind. Its cooperation in getting us here was greatly appreciated. But now it's gonna have to fight us as we try to make our way back against it. Or we could just check out that other island first. Maybe find another key before we go grabbing that first one we found because of the gong shenanigans. That's always an option. And I also did want to check this thing out over here. Hello, Joeyfish. Ow. Ow. Joeyfish hurt. I sailed my boat right over them and somehow they hurt me. I would... I would... I can picture them doing damage to the boat, but how do they hit the person through the boat? Do I see fire in the distance? Something out there looks burny through them clouds. Alright, boat, stop right here. This is a good spot to be stopping. Drop that anchor. Put it all in the anchor hole. And let me just swim around to the other side because that's what I'm doing here. I'm just swimming. I'm feeling swimmy today. And smash, crash, you got some shards that are now mine. And I'm going to sail out into those clouds because it definitely looked worth sailing into. There was something out there. Something that I could see. In fact, I think I can see a little bit of island against the clouds. Hard to tell, really. Yep, that is definitely an island. That's actually where I gotta go dropping the keys off at. Up oh, the whoa. Come on, boat, what are you doing here? When we're sailing with the wind, you ain't supposed to be doing things like that. Coming to a fucking dead stop like that. But we're not fighting the wind, we're going with it. Instead, you want to just weep right face down in the damn water, because that's just the kind of boat you are. You're just a fucking divey boat. You love diving, you love being a boat. And, ha, that thing bounced off of my sail. You ain't latching onto nothing, you little crobster. But it's it's okay. Oh, jellyfish. We've learned that jellyfish are bad, so don't go hitting them. And you jumping out of the reef like that. You think you're gonna get my boat, but you think wrong. Oh, and I can see us a key tower straight ahead. It's not on the island marked with the X, but it is a key tower. And so... That, so we have to go there. But the wind, the wind is bitch. The wind does not like help help. The wind want us to go wrong way. Thrown astray by the power of the wind. And here we go. I've got you now. I got your number, wind. You won't stop me. Try as you may, try as you might, I'll get where I need to go, even out of spite. Fuck you! Now, let me just find my way to that tower, and if I can find some meat creatures on this island that may give me some skin, that would be super nice, because I am very low on leather. In fact, I don't think I have any leather left at all. I used it all up, making my spears and shit. I need a nice island where I can farm me 
some leather, but I just haven't been finding the right place. The right place has yet to be found, but we are finding what, that is a gloom harrow up there, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, you do drop some skin, but it's not the kind of skin that I need to make leather out of. Now, you're lunging, ouch. Okay, get up, get up, stupid. Staying on the ground is bad for business. Yeah, there you go, try and bite me. I'll be taking that grass, stab. And another stab. If you could just keep doing what you're doing here, but nope, you're lunging. And I don't like that. I don't like lungy boys. Now, take that. There you go. Ow. You got some chompy teeth. Yep. Found ya. Yep, my spear is gone. Ow. So fuck you. Jerky. Emergency heal. And he's a lungeon. There. You get knifed. You've been knifed out of existence. And so, you die. Give me your skin, give me your jaw, don't need no more bones. I've got all the bones I can handle. So... That key... There, there's the tower. Peeking up above the fucking land. The sea and the waves. Holding its head high, riding that high horse because that's just the kind of guy that tower is. Give me that mushroom. Crunchity munchity, you make me feel good. So, how will I get to that tower? If I. It's on the opposite side of a fucking mountain. Does this mountain span the entire island? It better fucking not, because if it does, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad if you've got a fucking island spanning mountain blocking my progress like that. Give me that grass. Grass, good. I can burn things with it. I can make ropes from it. Now, there's a blink. You, give me your skin. And of course, the silk maws. Did I just kill all three of them at once? I think I did. Damn, no skin. Only meat and his little feather. Things that I do not fucking be needing. All of these islands and nothing with a damn fucking goddamn motherfucking pigs. The boars, the razorbacks. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I can make a metal spear, but I need a clay kiln and some leather and a hammer for some reason. But I do also need to find me enough clay to make the damn kiln. And I'd also need space on my boat for it. And as things stand, I ain't got no kiln space. I could slap a couple more decks onto my boat, make it a little bit bigger. And then I'd have some space for extra storage, another kim another fire that I could put a kiln on top of. But as things stand now, it simply is not happening. And y'all with your damn fronds and your lack of skin, how do none of you have skin? You're supposed to be made of the stuff. Now show me what you got, son. Just your stupid feathers. Don't even know I'm bothered digging you. Oh, my inventory's full, so I am not allowed to dig. Unable to dig, I am, because of inventory. I don't know why I'm carrying these fucking gems around. They're only good for making special bows that I don't feel like making. Now, show me, yep, just a couple of those feathers that I'm not taking with me. You're just eating up precious inventory space that's all you're good for is the stupid blink fronds now let's have that key already this place has bothered me enough what have we here a thing that I do not have and you bring up my map because why 
I didn't tell you to bring up the map. That's a thing that I need, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's down there. So... I gotta go grab a thing. I stick it in front of this plane stalker statue. And that should open the way to the key. Couldn't just let me have the damn key. You gotta make me go through all this shit just to get it. Yep. Just as I thought, I can't go sticking this wood chest down just anywhere on my boat. It needs a whole deck to itself. Selfish ass chest. Well, fine. Do I have what I need to go making? Yeah, I do. I got silk thread so I can make wooden decks here. And give me that thread. I can press all the wrong buttons, apparently. D there. I can move, like, make a nice longer boat. Right there and all right built with three decks hell yeah and of course i keep pressing the wrong buttons there four decks i'm not gonna have to slap an extra hull down underneath these am i does that make it a little too back heavy go that way why are you latching onto the boat i'm not telling you to do that so yeah all right i think this is good we ain't too back heavy, I don't think. And I do have space to go putting down extra storage. So yeah, this boat is just fine. Ever growing, our boat do be. So, I'm gonna go grab me that key that I needed the gong for. Everything, I guess. That's the downside to having a bigger boat. You're a bigger target. But it's fine. It hit me once and that was enough to satisfy him. He is gone. He won't be coming after me again. We are in the clear. Yeah, splash around in your triumph. You ain't catching me again, asshole. My boat's too fast for ya. Super glad there's no limit on all the sticks I can carry. The more sticks I got, the more stabby things I can make. And I do like making stabby things. Though it would be also really nice to be able to repair the spears that I've worked so hard to make. Especially now that I can't find no goddamn leather to make new ones. There's just a distinct lack of skin animals I can go killing and taking the skin from that I've noticed. Anyway, give me the key, and then I'll just go fuck myself, alright? Okay. Good. Into my titties you go! And these sacred islands are our home. We will not abandon them. Well, so far the islands I've seen have seemed pretty abandoned. And yet you claim that you ain't gonna go abandoning these islands that ye call home. So, gonna have to grab this guy and bring him up here so we can get that key. And might also make a quick stop to take a look at the island marked by that X, cause 
it's got good things on it is all. It could. It might. It should. But maybe it don't. I don't know. We'll figure it all out in the next episode. Because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. God. Bye.